beans won't open, Jerry. Well, keep twisting. It's an old can opener. <laughs> I just got back from the dry cleaners. Now I got big bean sauce all over my shirt. That's it, Jerry. I'm done with beans. <laughs> done with beans? No more beans. All beans? All beans. Fava beans? Done. Lima beans? Throw with lima. Kidney beans? No more kidney. Pinto beans? Done. Navy bean? Throw. Red beans, black beans, green beans? All of the colored beans, gone. <laughs> well, what about string beans? You gotta love string beans. Not anymore. Ho <laughs> ho. Garbanzo? No more garbanzo. What about Skittles? They're the beans of candy. What about jelly beans? Well, now that's using your bean. Jerry, I just saw the most amazing thing. I'm walking down the street and I see a dog, Jerry, a chow chow. And it's got this beautiful golden fur. And I'm thinking to myself, that fur keeps the dog warm and it's beautiful. It serves both a practical and an aesthetic purpose, Jerry. Why does that happen? Who's responsible? You want to know who? I'll tell you who. Who? God. God? That's right. God. The head honcho. The man upstairs. The big cheese. God. He created all this? The sky above. The ground below. Us. We're God's creations. We're God's children? Well, now you're starting to get it. Well, when do I get to meet him? Is he here now? Where is he? I have so many questions, Jerry. Here. Read this. <laughs> The Bible? It's all in there! Adam! Eve! The snake! <laughs> what about the dinosaurs? Put there by the devil. Well, how do I know God exists? You don't. You just have to believe. The sun rises. The sun sets. We wake up. We go to bed. There's food for us to eat. What do you think? That's just a coincidence? All he asks in return is that you pray. Pray for what? The goodness to all mankind so that we're saved when the apocalypse comes. Is it coming soon? Could be. Boy, I better catch up. This book seems pretty good. It is. It's... The good book. Hey, George. What you been up to today? I went to the zoo. What about you? I've been standing here waiting for you. Why? You want to go do something? Nope. You want to get a bite to eat? No, thanks. You want to go ride the bus? No way, Jose. Why not? Because, Georgie, I'm... An agoraphobe. What does that mean? That means I'm scared to go outside. I can't be around people and I can't be in crowded places. But New York City is so crowded. And I'm so scared. Well, what do you do all day? I pee in jars. I masturbate. That's all I've got. I'm almost out of food. Well, let's go get food. I can't. Why not? Because I'm too scared. <laughs> Yup. Okay. No. Uh-uh. No way. Jerry, I just got back from the dance. Oh, the big dance? Yeah, the big dance. Well, how did you do? Did you dance your sweet little butt off? I did it first, Jerry. I was doing it all! Did you do the monkey? I was a monkey! <laughs> the mashed potato? I messed him up real good! Well, did you boogie woogie woogie the electric slide? I was boogieing, I was boogieing! But then they got the Cotton Eye Joe. And? I couldn't do it, Jerry! I don't know the dance. I never learned. You never learned the Cotton Eye Joe? Well, of course not. The Cotton Eye Joe's a dance for girls. The only way you know it is if you were a sissy, a Nancy boy. You want me to beat you up, you little faggot? Jerry, if anyone knows the dance, it's got to be you. You're a championship dancer. Bet you didn't know that about me. You have to know it. I don't know it. But you go dancing every night. Sure do, but I don't know your dance. Well, they must have taught you at the dance camp you go to every summer. Sorry, fuckwad. But you're shit out of luck. Oh, come on, Jerry. I know I you know, know it. it. I know you I know Cotton Eye Joe. Dance. You gotta tell Sorry, me. George, you know the I dance, am. Jerry. You know the oh, dance. Yeah, yeah, of course I know the dance. Of course I know the Cotton Eye Joe. It's the best dance in the world and I love it. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Stop, front, stop, back. Shuffle, clap, shuffle, clap. Shuffle, back, clap. Shuffle, front, clap. Chicken wings. <laughs> Let's do it, Jerry. I tell the world how magical we are! Get up, snake, the cotton eye joke. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, cotton eye joke? Get up, snake, the cotton eye joke. 
I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? God, I joke. <laughs> <laughs> But how do you know Cotton Eye Joe so well? Because I am Cotton Eye Jerry. Say, George, what's the furthest you've ever gone with a woman? Second base. What about you? Second base. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> what was that? That was a butt whistle. I can whistle out of my butt. I'm a butt whistler. Are you a licensed butt whistler? Sure, okay. I don't know. Hey, your turn, sweetie. Okay. Ooh, that was more of a toot. You're a butt tooter. No, oh, but I want to be a butt whistler. Why? So you could do this? <laughs> Say, but tutor, that sounds like but tutor. What? You mean like I teach lessons to your butt? Sure, give it a try. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jerry's butt. In the year 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, check this out. We'll be right back with more Seinfeld. <laughs> Jerry, look, a dime! Well, pick it up, sweetie. Okay! Ah, it's too thin. I can't get my fingers around it. Dimes are tough. Times are tough. What? Look at this. A quarter. It's the perfect size for picking up. Not like a nickel. A nickel's too thick. It should be called a thickle. What? No one likes that joke? Well, f you, you f Jerry, why are you picking up all these coins? Because I have no money. I lost it all in a series of poorly advised investments in now defunct electronics and appliance companies from the mid 90s. Well, who told you to invest in those companies? An idiot. Well, why'd you listen to him? Because I'm an idiot. I haven't even paid off any of the 14 drunk driving tickets that I have. What do you have to say for yourself? Glug, 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 keep it coming, bartender. <laughs> you know, it's not right. You can get a ticket for something good, like a Daft Punk concert, but you can also get a ticket for something bad, like illegally parking, which I do often when I'm drunk. It should only be called a ticket if it's for something good, like a baseball or a football game. Well, what should a bad ticket be called? Uh, fuck it. Let's just get back to picking up change. Jerry, a used condom with blood on it? Uh, oh, yeah. Explain yourself. Glug, glug, glug. You know, George, we've been getting awfully close lately. You might even say we're best friends. We're like two peas in a pod, Jerry. We're inseparable. You might even say we're bosom buddies. Do you love me? I do. Say it. I love you. I love you! I love you more! I love you now and forever! I want to tell the whole world, Jerry! Oh, you're saying you want to make it public? I do! Well, first, we got to make it private. What do you mean, Jerry? I think you know what I mean, little boy. I want to see your dick. I want to see your dick! I want to see your cock, your plaything, your dipsy doodle, your little George, your scrotum, your testis, your taint! I want your taint in my face! I want to be a taint face! I want to rub my ass all over you! I want to spit on my hands and rub it on your cock! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow it down, you little dork! First, let's hold each other. Okay. Whoa, Georgie. I can feel your stiffy. I'm getting a whiffy of your stiffy. Well, I can't help myself, Jerry. You make me hard. You make me hard. You make me hard. We're just two friends getting hard. Well, now I want to measure our penises. Hey, you got a ruler? Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Guess who I was just talking to? Kramer? No. Elaine? Who's Elaine? 
Well, then who? Anthony Marinos. Who's that? He's my friend. Jerry Seinfeld's friend? No, Dan Klein's friend. Who's Dan Klein? I'm Dan Klein, and Anthony's my good friend from New Jersey. What does he do for a living? He's a marketing coordinator for Zipcar in Washington, D.C. Zipcar? The car sharing service? Well, what other kind of Zipcar is there? about him? Any funny stories? Sure, fifth grade, Anthony walks up to a bully, says, hey, we're not gonna take this anymore. Turns to his fence for support, everybody's gone. Bully sits on his head. What about funny basketball stories? Ninth grade, Sarah Convery's house. Anthony jumps off the hood of a car and grabs the hoop. Nobody sees it. So he says, hey, everybody, watch. Does it again, but this time, slips and falls. Gets up and says, oh, I think I broke my back. Does he have a girlfriend? Sure does. Lacey Stone from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What does she do? Something for Africa. I forgot. You forgot? Or Dan Klein forgot? Now this is gotten confusing. <laughs> Chikabi. What? Chikabi. Chick a bee. Chick a bee. Chick a boo. What are you talking about? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> Chikabi. What? Chikabi. Chick a bee. Chick a bee. Where? Chick a boo. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> to you? <laughs> Did you know that every day 100 species of plants and animals become extinct as human influences over their habitats destroy them? And every year over 30,000 people die from traffic emissions alone? Also, the EPA estimates that Americans produce 254 million tons of trash every year. You know, recycling is a lot easier than being funny. Being funny is so complicated. You have to know how to write jokes, structure an entire 22-minute episode, do that 24 times a season, and hope your show gets picked up again just so you're not out of a job. With recycling, you wash out the container and toss it in the proper receptacle. It's as easy as one, two, three. See? Not funny, but important. Here's another tip. When writing, make sure to use both sides of your piece of paper. Every year, each person uses one 100-foot-tall Douglas fir tree in paper and wood products alone, and that's gotta stop. Here at the Jerry Seinfeld program, we've tried to use less paper by pleading with our producers to drastically cut the length of our episodes. Or to not have any episodes at all. Jerry, we're uh, supposed to make a few jokes here. No, George, not this time. Jerry, we have to. George, there's no jokes, okay? We're done. Jerry, we could get fired. You want a joke? You want a goddamn joke? Here's a joke for you. Why'd the chicken cross the road? That's out. Okay. Here we go. I think we got it. <laughs> I love you. You hear that said a lot, I love you. If you really love someone, why do you need to go up to them and always say, I love you? Shouldn't you just know? <laughs> I mean, that's why you're in a committed relationship. I don't go up to people all the time and say, hey, I'm a human. <laughs> 
Hey, honey, before you leave for work, I'm a human. Oh, well, thanks, honey. I'm a human, too. I mean, what is it? Is saying I love you like an alarm clock for the relationship? I forgot someone loved me. Uh, I love you. Oh, uh, snooze. I'm up. I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Is this clear? Is that clear? Is that making sense? Okay? You hear I love you said a lot. I already said that. I love you. It's a weird word. Love is a weird word. Right? It's a weird word. It sounds like of, but with an L before it. You know the band of Montreal? Love Montreal? Not anymore, I don't. Not anymore, I don't. I don't love that band. I love you. That's a phrase you say to your kids, but you also say it to your lovers. That's weird. That's a weird thing. Admit it. I'm not the weird one here. You are. You're all weirdos. Hey, guess what? I hate you. That should be something we say more often, because that would be something I love. I don't know, Jerry. I like being told I love you. Why? It feels good. You sure you're not just being insecure? What? Come on, Jerry. Everyone says it. Parents, spouses, significant others. Well, shouldn't you just know? No. It's reassuring. It shows that you've reached a certain level of commitment and affection. You know, love is a very beautiful, very real thing. Very organic, which I'm a big fan of. Eh, yeah, that's bullshit. Oh, come on, Jerry. Just a few weeks ago, you told me you loved me. Well, haven't you ever been in love? Now, haven't you ever loved someone? Moscow! What? Moscow! Ah! Ah! I'm just kidding. We'll be right back with musical guest, the Black Eyed Peas! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> How was your day today? Fine. Do you have anything you want to talk about? No. Neither do I. Let us be still. Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. And I'm George Costanza. And we're the stars of NBC's hit show, Seinfeld. We've been on the air for 21 years. You know, writing our show is so hard. So today, we're gonna read some letters from some fans. Let's go to the mailbag. Our first letter is from Shayna Collins. Shayna writes, Dear Seinfeld, whatever happened to Elaine and Kramer? I don't know. This one's from Bert64. Dear Seinfeld, I love your show. I especially love George. You're making that up. Okay, you got me. <laughs> this next letter is from Carol Page. Carol writes, Dear Seinfeld, you guys suck. What the hell are you doing to this show? It should have been canceled 10 years ago. Now it's just you and George standing there talking about the dumbest shit. Have you noticed there hasn't even been a single joke on the show? You're sad and disgusting. Well, that hurt. That didn't feel good. That got to the core of me, deep down. That one's gonna stay with me for a long, long time, Jerry. You know, it really does matter what other people think about you. Because it hurts so much when they don't like you. I feel hideous. I'm pathetic. You found my weaknesses, Carol. And you exploited them. I might have to reconsider my life or kill myself. Well, thanks for writing. If you or anyone you know has a funny idea for an episode of Seinfeld, please grab a pen and write to the Jerry Seinfeld Program, P.O. Box 4823, Orlando, Florida 32806. So, 
right soon. <laughs>
can you believe that? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to do my thing, stay real. Yeah, well, you know, your uh, your new album dropped last week. I was there at the Webster Hall release party. Uh, it was uh, a good time. Uh, it was me, uh, Corey, Enrique. It was real, you know, things, things got pretty crazy. Yeah, you know, I like to make the club crazy. Yeah, yeah some crazy things have been happening to me. You know, when I was a child, I, w I was a beaut. Ah, Red Cedar. Red Cedar is great for building outdoor patios and decks. And, oop. Oh, shoot. That's a big guy. Ooh, that's a big splitter there. <sighs> oh, I could, t I could taste the ecstasy. Ah, oh, this is good. Oh, this is real good. Oh, this is where I need to be. Now this is Saldame. It's a hallucinogenic wood that was invented in the 1960s. And you know what? Let's try some. Oh, I know, this is good. This is real good. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh this is where I need to be. Oh, oh. I want your big fat cock inside of me. No, no, no. no. Love me. No, no. Like me. Come on, chill. No. I need it. I need it, man. Oh, where's George? Which one is the George one? Where's the George one? Where's the George one? Are you George? Hi George, I miss you! Get fuck off me! You get, the, you get the fuck off me! I'll fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Everyone here! I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Give me Jerry! Give me Jerry! I want Jerry! Get that fucking thing away from me! Into this world, we're all given a gift. This gift lay dormant until the final hour. We know not what it is and are deceived into believing. But what I thought was true, only now I see my folly. Don't leave me, Jerry. We can still make this show better. We spend our hours marking up this earth in constant search for our rightful place, hoping to learn our reason. But we learn nothing until we are gone. I know now that being is the true being, and we are but men. We are but men. <laughs> Don't try to be funny, Jerry. <sighs> Goodbye, George. You are my rightful place. You are my reason. No, Jerry. No, I, I, I wish we never started the show. I wish we never had this show and it was just us. Just us like it used to be. No, I love you, Jerry! Now that's using your bean. No! No! Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>